Would you like to take ACH payments through one of your forms without having a Plaid account? Let me show you how with Stripe. Hey job formers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And one of the pluses of this is you do not have to have a Plaid account in order to take these ACH payments. So I'm already in a form. So I'm gonna go up to the top left corner. We're gonna choose add a form element and we're gonna choose a payment gateway, the middle one. Then we can either scroll down or we can go ahead and just search for Stripe. And we are looking for Stripe ACH manual. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that and drag it in. Over on the right hand side, first thing we need to do is we need to connect our Stripe account. If you've never done this before, you'll have to go through the steps. I'm gonna go ahead and click the connect button. All right, so we are officially connected and we can see we can either choose between the live mode or test mode. Uh, live mode is good for now and then we can also choose the payment types. We can either sell products, we can sell subscriptions, we can have a user defined amount or we can collect donations. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this at sell products. We'll hit continue and here's where we can create our products. I'm just gonna create a quick test one. So this one's $5. If you wanna add images or anything like that, you can definitely do that. And there we have our test product. And we are good to go. Let's go up to publish and I'm gonna open in a new tab. Let's take a look and see what this looks like live. All right, we look good to go. Then down here at the bottom, we have their routing number and account number that they're going to have to enter, name on the account, and then the bank account type. So once they fill in this information and they click the submit button, it goes into a pending state with Stripe. Now within one to two days, Stripe is going to send two very small deposits to their bank account just to verify that their bank account is theirs. JotForm also sends your customer and you an email letting you know more about this process. And then the customer side, there is going to be a link to a URL for them to click to verify those two amounts. Once those two deposits have made it into your customer's account, you'll see on your dashboard within Stripe that it's moved from pending to pending verification. Once they correctly enter in those two amounts, you will officially be paid and it will move from pending verification to verified. Now, if they end up putting in the wrong amounts, they're going to get a pop-up that says, oops, these are the incorrect amounts. And everything that I'm mentioning here is all in the help article, so that way you can see exactly what you are going to see and your customers are going to see as well. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about utilizing this for your ACH payments with Stripe, let us know, and I'll see you next time.